Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla. You watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Expedition Out Dry Boots, available at Revzilla.com. This is the Expedition from Revit, new for the fall of 18. It carries a very distinct place in the overall bomb-proof, aggressive, off-road, on-road, adventure boot category. It is the most expensive and most likely the most technical boot we've ever seen. If you look at it, you're gonna say, well, that looks like maybe the beefier big brother of something like the Discovery within the Revit series. And I'd say you're absolutely correct. But the difference is, is that the Discovery comes in in the $400 plus dollar range. Now brace yourself, the new Expedition comes in over the $700 mark in any category, race, street, off-road, adventure. We've never seen a boot that has tipped the $700 mark. Now collect yourself, catch your breath. I'm going to explain why. This boot, is meant to be hardcore adventure, meaning true four season, meaning a mixture of on-road and off-road capabilities. But what they've done is they haven't beefed up a road boot and said it's gonna handle the off-road world. What they've done is they've looked at the best in the off-road world, boots like the Alpine Stars Tech 10, and they said we're gonna attack that and we're gonna make it waterproof, which is something for the hardcore adventure crowd. Many of those guys wear Tech 10s off-road. They want the most protection they can find, but then they're bummed out because they can't ride for a season and they can't find the, the waterproof breathability capability baked in. That is what Revit has attacked. Four key differences here compared with this compared to the Discovery. You're getting this bomb-proof beefy shin protection. You're getting the DSF system, which encapsulates this boot with hyperextension, hyperflexion protection, anti-torsion protection. You're also getting super fabric across the toe. We'll explain the value in that. That is a big bomb-proof abrasion-resistant material. And there's also going to be the BOA system, which is baked in. We saw that on the Discovery. That continues to hold true here, and you're seeing it here in the X. Expedition. So ultimately, stepping up to this next level, they even increase the height on this boot. Really, you start to add all those technical and R&D factors in, and you get a boot that's an Apex Predator, it's a Halo product, it's really true innovation within the field of motorcycle adventure boots, but you're looking at something that is going to tip those scales. The R&D has to make sense when it comes to the economics of this product, so what happens is you still have thin margins, you're just beefing up the level of technicality and investment here, and you're looking at a boot that's gonna tip the scales closer to that $800 mark as it gets into the high sevens. Now, quickly, note on fitment. We found the fit to be consistent with the other Revit fit, not an overly pronounced arch, not an overly wide or narrow footbed. It should work for most riders. Ultimately, you do have an inner booty, but it is non-removable. And remember, the, the beauty of the BOA system that I have right here is it's easy on, easy off. You completely pull it, it comes, it's monofilaments that tie together, you ratchet it down, it pulls everything together. Again, you can even do one hand operation. And notice the height of this. So you're going to have this out dry, which comes all the way up, it's laminated into the boot. That's your waterproof and breathable component, but ultimately you still have this big gator that goes up above it and you have extra height here. So again, lots of adjustability here. Lots of flexibility, but it is a much, much stiffer boot that if you wear it, it's going to feel like an off-road boot. You're just adding some of the creature comforts from the road world plus that waterproof breathability, and that's what really allows it to play in this space. Now remember, it's over 39 bucks, we'll ship for free, and as always, click our logo, subscribe to us at on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, request your feedback here on the Expedition. Now let's break it down outside to in, let's get into some of the nuances. So starting outside, we'll work our way up, you're going to have a brush leather that moves immediately into the super fabric. Now the super fabric are tiny laser welded ceramic plates that are four times more slide proof than leather. Again, synthetic material that beefs up the bomb provenness. There is a brown version of this boot. Keep that in mind. And on the brown version, the only change besides the beauty, that brown version is almost that classic oil look. It ditches the super fabric for top grain leather. So you do make a bit of a trade off there from a style standpoint. Moving up, we talked about the BOA system, which is this coated steel monofilament allowing that speed lace system. And that has TPU grommets that everything ties into. Moving up the front of the boot here, we have this nice big TPR hard part protecting the shin. Remember, your shins are totally prone to impact from foot pregs. It's a very common injury, especially in the off-road world when you put your foot down. So again, they beef that up. And I'll tell you, on the inside behind all of this, you're gonna have Seasoft armor from Revit, which is going to be their CE level one armor on the back of the shin, around the ankle cockpits, on the insides of this DSF system. 
Now, working our way back, dual recess stitching pulls in all this additional TPR and TPU. Again, you see your hinge system, hyperflexion, hyperextension control. It's also going to eliminate torsion. Again, beefing up the rigidity around your heel, around your ankle, and all the way up the exoskeleton. You see it across the Achilles, across the backside of the boot. You have a nice pop of reflective. It is basic. Again, they didn't go overboard on the reflective because they're looking at this boot primarily for the hardcore, more adventure or off-road style rider. Working away to the medial side, Nice big hinge on the inside as well. It's going to be backed by Seasoft. And then you have that split suede up the inside, which is heat proofing, as well as a different level of friction for the contact patch. Because if you're standing on the pegs, a lot of times this part of the boot will come in contact with the bite, a nice area for tactile response. Now, looking at the sole, it is a three layer laminated sole, again, with different components. One of the things I look at this sole, we've seen the same sole on the Discovery is it has its external layer, your shock absorbing layer, and then the layer that's bonded into the boot itself. It's a Vibram sole, meaning they're tapping on the expertise and knowledge of a third party to really allow you to advance the technology here. Nice big toe counter here along the front. But I will, I, what I will say is the fact that it's not the ideal construction here, which we'd see that welt, that stitching, there's not a replaceability option here. So for you hardcore guys that are really tearing through soles, we've seen other boot manufacturers sometimes give the ability to send your boots in like CD or Alpine Stars, and they'll re resole them for a fee. So you can keep this boot for a longer period of time, make it more of an heirloom product. I won't be surprised if Revit comes out with that in the future, but at the time of testing, we saw that there was no ability to replace or repair the soles. And Revit, if you're listening, I hope that you start working on that. You'll see the difference in tread pattern, walking around versus standing on the pipe and the stiffness is gonna be about an eight out of 10, which again, really plays strongly to that off-road world, which is meant for durability, potentially putting a foot down, impact from your foot peg. Again, this is built for work. It's not built for comfort. And again, that work is the comfortable support factor, longer distance of riding, and more off-road, beefier, aggressive terrain. Now, if we open it up one more time, remember, if they did add Gore-Tex, that would have increased the cost as well, and maybe that was a consideration, not going down that route, not making a boot that might clock in at the 850 or closer to $900 range. Again, in the sevens, I think this boot is nosebleed level of investment, but as an innovative Halo product from Revit showing the capabilities when they put it all together in the most treacherous terrain, being waterproof and serving a unique need within the industry, no one's done this. I mean, if we look at something like the Adventure Rain 2 from CD or something like the Toucan Gore-Tex from Alpine Stars, they're waterproof, breathable Gore-Tex boots, but they're gonna be a little bit less technical. They're not as technical as something like a Tech 10 or a CD Crossfire, which are true hardcore off-road boots. That's what this boot is up against. That's what it's anchoring to. That's what it's saying it can hang with, but then it's giving you the benefit of the versatility of true four season riding. If we start to open it up, you'll see micro Velcro on the inside. You have a soft area of Sea Soft on the inside. We talked about the Sea Soft on the inside of the rest of the boot, again, giving you that level of protection. Again, it's the same type of materials you'd expect to see, Gore-Tex or not. They're wicking materials. They're gonna pull sweat away from your technical sock and away from your foot, again, allowing them to evaporate out from the boot. Notice where this stops, and it gives you a big pull in the back for easy on and off. Now, I will tell you that because it is technical and it's meant to be streamlined, it is a little bit more narrow. So getting this on and off, while it is a speed lay system, it's not easy on and off like a boot with a medial zipper. But at the end of the day, you're not lacing, you're not adding bulk, everything is well suited. And even this BOA system, which works really well, and we see across a ton of boots at this point in a multitude of riding styles from the track to the street to off-road, it just works really well. This is not a new technology. We're seeing it in higher end boots and we're seeing it permeate boot lines at this point. But again, I've seen it in snowboarding for year and years and in moto for years and years. So again, everything's coming together. So all in, if we look at it, remember, the Revit boot is really looking to compete in the highest level of off-road riding. This expedition is meant for a beating and it's meant to hold up really well over time. But you're investing at a high level. We're hoping Revit comes out with a boot repair or replace program. And remember, this brown version is also going to come with no super fabric. But the big takeaway here is that it's waterproof and it is off-road at the highest level, at the pro level, and we haven't seen that before. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com and read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 30 and bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla, our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion, latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.